Okay guys, in this video tutorial, we will learn that how we can interface our 18F452 PIC microcontroller with the MQ2 gas sensor. Although it is not considered as the perfect sensor that is present like in the hardware, but still it will serve your purpose by at least detecting and having some sort of visual effects. Okay, now first we have to go to the microcontroller and we will take our microcontroller. So it, it must be 18F452. So this is our microcontroller. So we will press OK and this is our microcontroller. Okay, now we will take our gas sensor. Okay, now this is our gas sensor. Okay, and now in order to uh, make this gas sensor work, because it will not present in your Proteus, so you have to uh, download the file which I have given in the description. So, so you need to download it, and then after it you can make changes, or if you want some sort of like alterations or anything like that, you can do. Okay, after gas sensor, we need to connect. The enable pin to the VCC take so M clear or VPP is our enable pin of the microcontroller okay after that we need to do one thing that we also need to connect our VCC ground and out pin to the corresponding power and ground or to the input of the or uh, any any other pin of the controller like uh, we will double click on this controller uh, sorry sensor then we have to take this attach hierarchy module then we will press ok ok after it we need to take one DC power supply so we need to connect it with the ok like this ok like this ok we will double click it we need to write here 5 volt okay then after it okay like this and we will connect ground pin with the ground and then out pin must be connected with the b0 pin of the microcontroller okay one more thing that there is one control pin that is called as the input pin and here it is written like gas CO2 or like uh, CH4 or C4 H4 or like that so these are the gases when we will give uh, input then we can get uh, one signal on the output so okay like uh, this okay now we will do one more thing and that is to take our logic state block so this is our logic state it is logic yeah it, it is logic state yeah so press ok and like this and connect it with the input pin so this is our input logic ok now one more thing and that is because we want to observe our output on the serial monitor so here for serial monitor we need to take our virtual terminal so it will access the serial monitor RXT pin must be connected with the C6 pin of the microcontroller and TXT with the C7 pin they are by default used for the U order serial communication so you are not supposed to connect them with any of the other pins okay this is our circuit now we will go to our micro c program so okay now we will open our micro c okay micro c in micro c we can we can start from file and you need to click on this the new the new project here you can click on next here you can change the controller to your uh, used 
controller like uh, we have used pick at in a 452 so so we must have to do like that okay my project we can write any name of the project like uh, great or any other name great underscore one 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 then press next and then finish okay now we will write coding here our coding here so okay wait it's not working Maybe there is some problem it's okay no no problem at all okay control c and control v here we can see that we have first white man then this is the main function and within its body it's u at one underscore in it it means that this line is used to initialize the serial port communication 9600 is the baud rate also you need to go to the libraries and click on adc also also on uart okay now errors are gone then delay underscore millisecond and then 300 why this is so because there is some time required required for the initialization of the serial port then while one then you want write text while one is our infinite loop and this bracket and this bracket is the body of the while one while one will execute again and again so you want one underscore write text what is happen what is happening here that is the guess detected we have written guess detected string and where you want one write text is the function or the command for to write from the microcontroller to the serial port so what what the controller used to write on serial port guess detected okay but wh when it, it needs to uh, write it because we we are taking our input signal at port b pin 0 so we will write port b is equal to 0 x ff so it will convert the whole port b to the input port if if you want to convert or if you want to initialize port b as 0x00 zero zero zero, then we can say that it is it is 00, zero. then we can initialize 0 0 then then we can say that it is uh, initialized as the output but here we have written ff so it it will be considered as now input so now in while one we need to write if port b dot f0 is equal to is equal to 1 okay now what is the meaning of this that if we have 1 our logic 1 is there on pin 0 of port b then what will happen all the instructions within the within these brackets will be our parenthesis will be executed as it is so what guess detected and then all this and if we copy it and we will write it like uh, if port b dot f0 is equal to is equal to 0 then we will write no guess detected and what is the what is the meaning of these two lines uh, because uh, in c we can write selection selection for uh, next line but in order to move to control to the next line in serial monitor you need to write these two lines that is 13 and 10 and then delay of 500 millisecond and half set half second so okay we will save it like that then we will program okay now it is for hex file generation so we will click on save and we will write here case underscore zero one one We'll save it now now we will go to our pick microcontroller double click on it go like this and then we need to go to like uh, g and this one there is one deficiency in our program so 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 we, if, if it is not going to work properly then we will write it like that yeah you can see that it's not working properly so 
we can we can do one thing that we can we can change it's because we have used 8 megahertz clock frequency in the coding file so so we need to change it like this and also we need one crystal oscillator so take crystal oscillator like this and connect it with this pen and the second is 14 13 14 okay and there must be two 22 pf resist uh, capacitors ceramic capacitors so or any capacitors non-polar you can take them like this we, we need to connect them like this okay and this one okay can we connect them like okay wait there isn't any sort of space so so we will make a little bit space for it okay like this connect the other two ends of the capacitors and connect them with the ground like this Okay, now we are. We will also change this crystal frequency to 8 megahertz. So hopefully now it will work fine. Okay, now you can see that now it is working fine. No gas is detected because the input pin on B0 is zero. Okay, so this is. Okay, now we will change our control signal on the gas sensor. now still no gas is detected wait we have to okay it's rb0 okay, no problem we can double click it it is 5 volt it's okay this thing okay now we can go to child sheet in child sheet we don't have our what's called as the model but still we can do one thing for time being we will do we need to take one input pin and one output pin we need to connect them and this must be connect this must be like uh, out and this must be like uh, input but this is for time being I'm just doing for time being in, in the file which is in the description in, in, in that file you will get all the model it is just like uh, having some sort of transistor okay so we also need to save it so exit to parent sheet okay so it is okay now now we can see that it is working properly like gas detected and no gas is detected so hopefully you got the concept although this is uh, we cannot say that this is a perfect simulation for uh, gas detection or gas uh, module interfacing with the big microcontroller but still uh, up to some extent it will serve your purpose so thanks for visiting our channel